In this clip, we're going to learn about the shuffle copy node. Okay, so we've learned about the shuffle node and how we need to read it backwards to really understand it the most easy way. We've learned about the copy node and how we can just take information from one place and put it in another. And now we're gonna learn about the shuffle copy node. Now it is meant to be read backwards as well. And it's really kind of a combination of the copy and shuffle nodes. Really, you're going to use it more like the copy node most of the time. Um, but it has the same kind of interface and functionality as the shuffle node. So let's go ahead and jump into Nuke and I'm gonna show you how you can use shuffle copy. Okay, so here we are in Nuke and I have my same files from before my alpha only and my robot with no alpha and my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tab key and type in shuffle copy and the way shuffle copy works is that you have to think of it as data coming in from two streams and then the node itself is where you're going to be reading from to see the unity of those two streams of data. So a lot of times you might use shuffle copy for something like you know, I want an alpha channel from somewhere else and I want my RGB data from a different place. So that's exactly what we're doing in this case. I would hook my one where you see the in up to my alpha and my two up to my robot no alpha. And so what I'm saying is I want the alpha coming in from here and I want the RGB data coming in from here on two. So I can look at this and make sure that that's what's happening where I go, okay, I want the red data coming from two. So I go back to red up and there it is under the two. Same for green, same for blue. And then when I go to alpha, I'm going all the way over to the one and that's where my alpha data is coming from. Now, whenever I view the shuffle copy node, you can see that it is our robot. And when I hover over this area and hit the A key, now I have an alpha channel. So let's also grab a merge now. And we'll hook the B pipe of the merge into our background plate and the A pipe into the shuffle copy and view the merge. Perfect, so now we're seeing the robot pre-multiplied on top of our background shot. Perfect. So shuffle copy is, again, it kind of has a crazy interface. Um, it looks a little bit like some sort of a puzzle, but once you know how to read it just by going backwards, it's really pretty easy. Now, if I wanted, you know, data, some other type of data, um, maybe not an alpha channel, I would just need to go in and change the little boxes. So I would be choosing other things by using those boxes. And again, it's best to know that if you just start over here on the side and go back to the box that you want, that's the easiest way to control it. So that's the shuffle copy node. And now we wanna move on to our next clip where we're going to be actually using this shuffle node we used here to actually kind of combine and make a composite of all of our different passes, the diffuse, specular, indirect diffuse, indirect specular, and refraction. And let's see what kind of composite we get from those passes. So I'll see you in the next clip.